season 10. What's up, everyone? <laughs> welcome, to, welcome back to OMG Let's Talk. This is your first time. <laughs> this is your first time here. We're covering 90 Day Fiance. We're core, covering. Core 90 Day, not spinoffs. Core 90 Day today. This is episode three. To witness the beginning is the title of the episode. And we're going to be covering Manuel, 34, from Ecuador, and Ashley, 31, from New York. Where's her Let's thing? Let's get into it. Oh. Ashley the oh. Bitch. Oh. Ashley Zebruja. Rujita. 89 days to the wedding. So this is their first real day there. He got there yesterday. Uh, guess what? They had a huge fight the last time we saw them. They still fucked. That's pretty hot. Of course. <laughs> yeah that you're right that is hot look at that dude he's not actually the more and more that i watch manuel as 90 day goes on he's literally like that guy who goes to house to house to women and just like is like the weird um homeless guy that like bangs women and what, <laughs> what women are banging what? homeless guys they're not homeless <laughs> <laughs> oh lord all right like there's the like, maintenance guy no, what? The milk i don't man? know there's like early... talking, yeah you're referring to like milkman kind of thing maybe i'm just too early 2000s kid i don't know there's... no women were not fucking homeless guys in the early they're 2000s not homeless people but it's like uh the guys you who don't because he's mexican no i'm talking yeah. about <laughs> the guys who just like bang women who don't have high self-esteem just to kind of live with them kind of stay with them um i'm gonna get myself in trouble you already talking. are you yeah, already are pretty bad is it because he didn't bring any luggage and he had no clothes with him and he's poor <laughs> is that why no i honestly think he's like a player who plays women oh a player oh yeah we all know that term you should have started with that that's a good one. Yeah, maybe oh. he's a player. <laughs> There's a lot of players out there who like use women and like their houses. Like the guy in the early 2000s. Yes. <laughs> They're players. You know that homeless guy that goes from house to Fuck, hey, honestly, if anybody knows a player, that's a fucking player like really fucking broken down into like real terms. <laughs> Well, if you haven't already, just, they're no. they're jumping from house to house, couch to couch, women to women, whoever's gonna take care of them at the time. If you haven't already and agree with everything that this crazy lady is saying, please like and subscribe and follow us because we got a lot more to come. All right, so they're going to the grocery <laughs> store. His first grocery store in America. He doesn't understand what a baby carrot is. He's like, "What the fuck is this stupid ass shit?" He called us lazy for this. He's like, "Yeah, they just she didn't explain it right. Like, it, that's not what a baby carrot is." Yeah, they are. Baby carrots are not grown small. It's not like grandpa corn. Nope. You it's know, like how carrots. baby corn, like Asian baby corn, is technically old corn that's shriveled up. It's so not why that, did they though. call it baby corn? It's grandpa corn. Well, this is actually full carrots that are sliced in a way. That you could kind of hand eat it's them. It's more for babies. She should explain, like, babies. It's not for babies either. Toddlers. What adult eats baby carrots? No, you don't. We, like, we haven't had baby yeah, carrots in our house. Have you tray? ever had a veggie tray? But we don't eat baby carrots like that by a bag of baby carrots. I'm just saying. It's a full carrot shaved down into individual smaller carrots. It's not, a like, a smaller... Like, what is it called? When they, like, alter it with... Genetics? Yeah, genetically altered small carrot. Which is why they don't have skin. We're not either. lazy. Because you don't have to peel them. They're shaved. Yeah, so I can understand how you could be confused. Like, bro, just cut a fucking carrot. We don't need to play it's... this. It's... Yeah, but no. We have fake meat. He doesn't to... understand fake meat. That was my f fucking favorite part. So uh, whatever section they went to first in the grocery store is the most confusing section in the entire store. Yeah, let's start fucking Manuel off with this. Oh, this It is... looks like me, but it's not. They're in the vegan section. So they're looking at sausage and bacon and milk and this. And he's like, yeah, but it's not milk. Yeah, but it's not sausage. Hmm. And she's, he's like, what the fuck like, is, what is happening? It? He's eating a bag of chips play, in the play, store, play. if you guys haven't noticed that part. I thought that shit was so fun. I've done that. Yeah. Turn the volume on this one. Ashley told me the milk is not milk. Chorizo, or some sausages aren't actually meat. <laughs> 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 he's like, what? 
He's actually very accepting. Yeah, he's just a little bit of a joker. Lazy. Yeah, well, yeah, that's true. Well, he can, fucking can you, can you honestly, argue? I'm not gonna lie. He seems like the fucking dick asshole. Like, uh, you hate him, huh? Yes. He gives me like the mood, like uh, kind of like I'm a manly man. Or it's called machismo. He gives me two machismo vibes. Very popular in the Latin X community. I don't know. Um, he doesn't care for his adult like teenage kids. I don't know. That's not true not either. True. He's. I don't know. I get the vibe of that they're saying that he does, but it's like actions speak louder than words. Unless he leaves his teenage kids alone for a while and goes to work because he wants to be a providing father. He does not That's leave the them alone. Thing. He live, leaves them with their grandmother. But he left this one exception. So what, what they're all referring to is this one exception. He did not tell his kids or his mom or anyone that he That's was That's fucking going... weird. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying I don't think he's like a bad father. Like harsh. You guys giving some really harsh... It's criticism just me. right now. Don't go for Erica under the bus. Okay. It's just me. But what happened? I'm, I'm just I'm just upset because he hates Rico Suave's all. <laughs> I don't even know if that's true. You should build a fucking um like a picket sign like uh protesting. Free Rico. Free Rico. Rico on <laughs> bed. Rico on balls <laughs> on bed. Balls on bed. Because he's unfixed. <laughs> No, but what it comes down to is he came over here and he his par his mom and his kids believe that he's working in a, just another town away from the town he's in for about three months at work. And he does this regularly because he's a good father and provides for his children. Had, this one time is an exception where he had lied. It's just weird, though. And it's very clear. But it's your whole life. He's, it's very clear that he feels bad about it and he didn't know how to approach the situation. He's in a pickle. He doesn't know how to do it. I don't know. I get weird vibes of like he's yeah, um yeah, be a man, but um like Molly and what's her face. Uh, this is what privileged fucking Americans would say. Uh, my grandmother's from the fucking Philippines. I'm second generation. Where are you from? My mom, who was first gen. In what country? Here. What country are we in? Okay, who do we fucking live she with? She won't even answer the question. Who do we live she with and why could we even throw away food for the like the longest time since I met you? That was like our biggest argument because I had weird yeah. third world country that has embedded in my fucking Throwing bones. away food has nothing to do with what you're saying. Nothing. Yeah, it does. So you think that he is or her, she's okay with just throwing away everything is what you're saying? No, I'm not saying that. Calm down. <laughs> uh, you could end it at calm down and you could shut me up for sure. Nah, I'm worried about uh, Manuel using her like um, Molly and her ex. Ugh. I can't remember I his name. Molly. I get that weird vibe. That's all I'm trying to say. From the guy. Yes. Okay, I got you. I, I get it now. Like, I, he did the same thing. He's like, my family is important, but didn't tell his family. Went there, kind of fucked her over, and then just got his visa. That's all. That's all. You guys remember his I kind of get that vibe. I don't remember. Like, he's just, he's just. Yeah, everything, like, he meant coming to the U.S. He nit for himself. everything. And it's like, bitch, like, I thought, like, this is supposed to be an upgrade. I personally don't feel that way. And there's a little more evidence throughout their segments of this episode to kind of back me up on that one. But, uh, yeah, they went on. So I got a little lost. Marley skipped so far ahead. Uh, they're about they're going to dinner this evening to go meet her mom and her sister, uh, Ashley's mom and sister. Um, why why does she have clothes she for him? Picked. Well, because he didn't come with any clothes. So I think because he didn't want to go say goodbye to his mom, he didn't get any clothes. So he just came with whatever he had. So she went to buy him a nice outfit so that they can go meet her mom and he can look presentable. Gotcha. Gotcha. And from what Ashley says, like her mom is like no holds back. Like she's going to say what she thinks, call him out in any question. Right. Yeah, the mom. Yeah, the mom is not going to stay quiet. I guess like, this mom had Ashley when she was 16. So they're like super, super close. 
Well, and they should have a lot they should have a little in common then, because Manuel is the same, the firstborn, and he has a lot of responsibilities back at home. He takes care of the mom, the kids, like his own kids. Like he's the the rock of the family, which is why it was the so hard for him to, yeah, sole provider. Which is why it was so hard for him to actually leave. And I think he actually does feel bad about having to leave under the circumstances without informing anyone what he's doing. It might be a cultural difference because. He just didn't feel comfortable enough to talk to them about what's happening. And it's not like he's trying to hide secrets or anything. Like, he's expressed that to Ashley, like, it's not that I don't want to tell her, I just don't know how to tell her. That's the impression yeah. I got. I mean, it's a very hard thing to tell your mom that I'm moving to the U.S. and I might not see you for a while. Yeah, exactly. So I get that. Yeah, I totally get it, too. That's what I'm saying. I kind of sympathize for him, like... No matter what kind of situation he's in, it's, it's difficult. I thought this was funny, though. They go meet Ashley's mom, and she's like, yeah, this and that. It's like, oh, so the first thing Ashley's mom says is like, when is the marriage, and when are you having babies? Like, quick. And he, I don't know if Manuel is, like, ready for more kids. Yeah, I don't even know if Ashley's mom knows that he has kids. That, too. There's right? a lot of... She, he definitely didn't bring that up. And then basically, her, Ashley's mom's like, you know, how does everybody feel about all this? And he comes clean. He's like, I didn't tell them. Like, I, I, they think I'm at work and all this. Ashley's mom says, like, I don't agree with that. And then not in a very disrespectful way, maybe a slightly disrespectful way. He says, like, you know, these are your kids and you could treat them how you are. But I'm my own person. I personally did not find it too disrespectful. I feel like. If anything, he's asking for respect than being disrespectful. Jesse loves yeah, this he guy. He kind of said, like, this is me. Yeah, is that a problem? And I will do it my way. <laughs> no? Is that a problem? <laughs> that it's just his... Yeah, he can make his own decisions. <laughs> he's a grown man. I think so, too. Damn, Jesse. I think so, too. What do you but think, But the Erica? mom did say... From a girl's mom perspective. Did say the most well, that's I why I like this like... show. We get Jesse's like hardcore man's perspective, but girls be thinking, you know? Hardcore man perspective? <laughs> <I'm not> hardcore <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel it. I am. I, I guess Where's it's your just, test plates? I guess it's just a little it's a little different when, you know, if your mom gets really emotional and she might not want you to go, then for all we know, he feels like if he told his mom, he wouldn't be in the U.S. Like, the mom would have been like, no, don't go. This is not the right decision. So that's why he didn't do it. Let's do a scenario. Dustin, let's say Erica. Weird scenario. We can do a real-life scenario. All right, no, no. You Eric, grew up 200 miles Erica away from here. Erica lived in Brazil or some shit. No, you lived 200 miles away from here, and, and you Dustin, decided to move down here for Dustin. How did your mom feel? It was really sad. Like, it there was you a sad fucking But did you tell your mom at the time or did you tell her after? Well, that's. No, I, told, I mean, I told her at the time because I was like moving my stuff. I couldn't like <laughs> secretly go, but it was. It was a very difficult conversation to have. So and let's say if you had the so option, would that. you have the option of maybe waiting a little bit till they got to know Dustin before telling him? They knew Dustin. Yeah. I mean, if they did. So, see, that's another thing. Like, Maybe Manuel didn't think that things would work out. So <laughs> he did bring that up. Kinda, yeah, so he's kind of waiting. Like, should I tell my mom? Maybe I should just make sure that me and Ashley are going to work out, that I'm actually going to stay here for a while. Or he said it's just so hard to get to America. A lot of people apply for that. He did bring that up. Like, he's like, people apply mm -hmm. and they don't make it. I didn't want to scare everyone, kind of thing. But yeah, it is kind of weird. It is. But at the same time, if he was the man of the house and probably every woman in his life made him feel guilty for doing anything like that was good for himself. I can totally see that, too. Yeah. Because he did say, I'm doing things for me now. Uh, I can definitely see that. He's older. I met. Yeah, and think about all the mom. pressure that he's had in his entire life. Uh, it's like, I'm not a selfish person, but. It's about time that I have, like, if I want a fucking family and kids, like, I gotta fucking get this bitch pregnant, you know? He's 34. I know. You can still get her pregnant. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> it's, it's time to start making those decisions yeah, for yourself. Yeah, for sure. 100% mm -hmm. agree. Well, they 
the dinner went. It happened. The they mom did all was that. super black mom about the whole dinner. Don't be racist. Yeah. <laughs> she was like straight up. Like, no holding back. I like that about her. Just like yeah, call I need it, to get call the it answer as it is. That I need. Is she the teacher mm-hmm. that you would like hate but slash love in school because she would call you out on your shit, but also like loved you for who you are? That's who she reminds me of. Well the the dinner she was happened. Very it, nice. No, she she wasn't she wasn't being mean though. Yeah, she was just a friend. She was just being her. Yeah, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with that too. With, no. that, with being direct is not being mean. Especially when it's your daughter know. like meeting Imagine when we have kids and you're gonna have, see your daughter like dating a guy. Like, must be weird. It's a, when we have a daughter, I won't be there. I'm... What does that so... mean? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> all right, little walk. So the dinner happened, all that, and nothing really came out of it. So the next day, they're walking their dog, having a good old day, talking about Rico Suave, how he's not on the bed anymore. Yeah, um, he made him a cute little bed under the bed. We already nope. knew that man. <laughs> was it Manuel who did it? It was him. Yeah. Okay. So I it is she, sad, but I, it's also like Manuel has a heart for him. Is what I got from that. I thought she said that Rico made a bed for himself under the bed. I was like, that is so fucking sick. Like he. Like, I, I thought I heard that too, and I was just like, "How did he even do that?" Just I, like, I think like, that is what was said. I don't know. think that Rico Suave made his own bed. Yeah, he got something under the bed and turned it in, like some blankets under the bed that were in storage, and he turned it into his little nook. That's the, the impression I was like, under. I might be wrong. I'm not sure. That's what I. Yeah. Okay. We're not gonna find the evidence right now, and we don't have time. It's fine. Let us know in the comments. But she says, like, you know, it, it, the interviewer is asked, like, was is it good that he's not on the bed anymore? And she's actually yeah, like, Rico made his bed underneath the bed. Oh. So yeah, Rico's he made, his made own bed. this like bed underneath the bed. Oh, yeah. that's like, so so. There's uh, extra blankets down there, and you know, but at the same time, like that's a, a cozy smart bed. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Look at him. And that's what I was just about to say. She's like, do you miss Rico on the bed? He's like, well, I do and I don't. I like the comfort. But at the same time, sometimes Rico Suave is kind of a cock block. So yeah, um, now, now she's getting real D instead of just snuggles from a pup. What's better? Probably snuggles <laughs> from a pup. Rico Suave kisses. Mm, yeah, Rico Suave balls in your face. That's better. That's what I want. Yes. 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 Um, but yeah, they get home. They they walk the dog. Everything seems okay right now. They're having dude the fucking dinner plates and stuff. Like, like, that like everything that she serves him in. Cook. Is that Manuel cooking? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'd be happy. He cooked. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, she sure so he, he sure did. Dang. He eating it up. That's what I'm saying. I don't think he's that bad of a guy. You guys are a little harsh. I am a little harsh, but at the, yeah, I don't know. Uh, everything seems to be going pretty swimmingly. There's <laughs> one last thing on the, uh, left on the table. Person. He has not <laughs> talked to his mom. She And then basically Ashley's like, yo, we're going to call your mom, bro. And he's like, all right, let's go. And she's like, vamanos. And they go. They go call his mom. What do you think about this interaction with his mom, I, Erica? You think it was genuine with the mom or she knew that she was on camera? No, she was very genuine. I think she was shocked and it was really you could tell that it was hard for Manuel because he was like trying to hold his tears back and what's even more worse about this situation is that right when the mom is telling him like you know just don't forget about your family we miss you a lot the internet cuts out yeah I know the call drops he's just like is that like a weird just like God saying like this is actually your guys' relationship like a sign. Unless Manuel hung up. No. Or Ashley went inside and <laughs> fucking unplugged that shit. <laughs> fucking Mary style. We are too fucked up, you guys. <laughs> you didn't get that like, reference Mary like, oh, is from the other way, and she was terrible in the beginning, but now she's good. Watch her other episodes. Mary. Is she? Oh, yeah. She's not better. Yeah, she is. She's better than Brandon. She is better than Brandon right now. There you go. Because she has some personal. Watch her other episodes. You'll figure it all out. You sure will, maybe. 
All right, yeah, pretty sad though, huh? And that was the end with uh, yeah, Ashley. He, he came clean to his mom, not not come clean, but he's just like, yeah, this is where I'm at. Sorry, I didn't tell you it was hard. And she basically says like, just don't forget about us. We want the best for you, no matter what. But don't forget what you're leaving. How about this? I and knew- he he is very coherent of what's happening. He's like, I won't. I'm gonna do everything I can. I hope it's not too hard for me to help because he I- makes it seem like in this plan. His plan is to work harder, just like all people coming to America. They want to work hard so they can provide for their family back home. And it seems like that's still his goal, which is admirable. Well, and it's not a bad thing. I don't think so either, no. We just get from 90 Day, though, next episode. You guys tune in that uh, Ashley gets a little bit of different vibes from her fa- his family and him. That's a sneak peek. Next week, That's check this saying. out. Peak the sneak. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. Please like, subscribe. Got more couples to come. Check our page. We're going to cover them all. Love you guys. Bye. Say love you.